Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Singles Waiting Room Ministry. I am your hostess, JC Prophetess B, aka the Truth Hacker. And this morning, I'm just coming to you. This is a impromptu video, and I just want to encourage and inspire um, those, motivate you in your new walk and in your new beginning because this is a crucial state of your cultivation and you need to be inspired and motivated and i'm sorry to say that sometimes that inspiration and that motivation does not come from the church however you have to stay in the circumference of trying to press through your transition in pressing through your transition, you become obedient to things that you don't even recognize that you're obedient to. In your transition, you also start to recognize that there are things that you need to change. And although you will face opposition and people in the church, at work, in the children, in the family, in your marital um, circumstances, in your relationships, there are things that will happen that will change everything but you have to be motivated encouraged and inspired to keep going just like this tree that's behind me it took time for these flowers to bloom but at once they were only a seed but due to the caring and the cultivation and the consistency of pouring in and cutting the weeds from around the growth and watering and continually to overturn the dirt and replanting and repotting the tree was able to blossom multiple times if you see all the buds on the tree and that's how we are spiritually when we allow god to use us and we do what we need to do in our transition even in opposition and i just want to encourage you that in order for you to be fruitful you first have to be a fruit the seed that's in you has to be able to grow. If the seed is not able to grow, then you're stuck in a state, in the beginning state. And I want to let you all know who are in the beginning state within your first one to, to three years that there is a next level. There is a next level and there is more of God and there is more of the spirit. And this thing is real. This spiritual life is real. The kingdom of heaven is real. The power in the kingdom of God is real. The unction of the Holy Spirit is real. What you can receive by the Spirit is real. What you need to move on in life is real. The power that you will get from staying obedient and, and focused and transitioning is real. You can obtain power. Forget about everybody you see and what they're doing around you in the church or your church peers or those who didn't make it. That's the reason they didn't make it. They didn't press through. I'm here today to encourage you to press through. Press through those times. Press through that night that you want to go out and have a drink and binge because you're purging. Press through that time that you want to go lay up with that woman or with that man because you're purging. Press through that time where you know you need to be cleansed and you are, are being cleansed out from relationships, even from your family, from your children. Press through that time where you need to separate yourself from people, places, and things. Press through that trial. Press, press through, press through, press through. If I can tell you the, 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 anything else, it would be to press through. Because pressing through and obedience has launched me to places that I would, can't even imagine going. Places that I didn't even know exist in the spirit. Places that I heard of people talking about but never thought that I can reach. Do you understand me when I'm talking to you today? Press through to that next level. Press through. There is a next level. There is more of God. God is real, okay? God is real. The spirit of holy is real. His righteousness is real. And I don't care what's, what you have done in life. You can change. It can happen to you. It can be you. And, and as I said before, God only can love everyone who allows him to love them. Okay? He can only love those who allow him to love him. And I just want to encourage you. I'm sorry. I'm putting my water down because I was walking. And this message came upon me, so I definitely want to, again, always be obedient and share to what thus saith the Lord. And today, 
the Lord is encouraging me, inspiring me to encourage you to press through so that you can blossom. Press through so that your tree can be fruitful as the buds that stand behind me. Press through so that you can be who God called you to be. You never know who you are called to be if you never come to be more than what you are. You understand that? You cannot be more than what you are if you never step outside of the comfort zone. If you never step outside of simplicity. If you never step outside of the unknown, the known. You have to step outside of that to come into this. There were many times I was fearful and afraid, even though the scripture said God has not given you a spirit of fear. But you can't rest until you become in that fear to know that God will give you rest and you don't have to fear. So understandably knowing that you do fear, you will fear and it's okay. But you, I'm telling you on the flip side that God has brought me out of fear and sustained me and strengthened me in him to teach me how to put him first and not my fear first. Him first and not what I feel is going to happen first. Him first and not my worries first. So I want to encourage you again, press through, press through. And sometimes those in the church will discourage you. I was discouraged many times of treatment in the church. But guess what? I had to press through, not for them, but for me. And one time I remember the Lord revealed to me and said to me, right while I was in the church, who did you come to worship and serve? Is it me or is it them? So in, in the Lord revealing that to me, I begin to recognize that he's saying, don't be scared, as, as they say, of men in their faces. Don't worry about the things that they can do to you because they can do no, no more than what is allowed for them to do. OK, and on top of that, I had to stay focused on what was good for me. I had to stay focused on what I was trying to get from God, not what they was doing to me while I was trying to get to God. I'm going to repeat that. I had to stay focused on what I was trying to get from God and not what they was doing to me while I was trying to get to God. So again, I want to encourage you, press through. I want to encourage the newbies, the babes in Christ, and those who have been in this thing for one to three years that's struggling or, or trying to figure out, is there more? Is it worth going on? Seeing all the fake church people, seeing all the fake abusive pastors, monetarily, physically, pervertedly, seeing all these things, it makes you wonder, is this thing for real? And I'm here to tell you that I was under all those type of leaderships. I had even been touched by a pastor before in my earlier age. So I want to say to you, this thing is real. And those circumstances, those predicaments are only distractions to distract you and stop you from being you. And you might look like to yourself, well, who am I that those things will uh, try to distract me? You don't know the seed that's in you until it starts getting water and that thing starts to blossom. Press through. Don't be discouraged by what you see in church. Be encouraged, be encouraged by where you know you're trying to go. Come and grow with me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Join me on Facebook in the Singles Waiting Room Ministry. Join me on Periscope, the Singles Waiting Room. Join me on, uh, what is that, Instagram. I'm JC Prophetess B on Instagram. Be encouraged. Continue to rest in the truth. I'm going to give you the truth, whether you like it or not. I'm going to say things that your normal inspired uh, hostess or host would not say. I'm going to get down to the root. I'm going to get in between the root and I'm going to get to what's really happening. The realistic of what's happening and what's underneath what's happening. And I'm, I want to encourage you again today to press through. I'm inspired to motivate you to press through. This is a crucial state. Your foundation is the most crucial state of your cultivation to move forward. And if you get dirt and contaminated in the foundation, the house at some point begins to crumble in certain areas. And then that thing starts to spread. And this is why we have the leadership the bad leadership that we have today is because they had things in their foundation that was not cleaned up in order for them to to stay built a, a stable and clean foundation and we want to live righteously we want to start from the beginning right so that we can end right sometimes there will be stumbling blocks along the way and sometimes you fall off i want to tell you i fell off too get up and start over and do it again stop crying over spilled milk and let the cat lick it up 
get up and do it again. I'm encouraging you to press through. I pressed through and I came further than I would, could ever imagine. I pressed through and I was able to tap in and to literally connect to the spirit of holy of God, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of that word that we speak, the spirit of that word that we read. I've been able to tap in and receive revelation for myself, not that which was preached, but that which is God is saying to me. And that's what I want to encourage you today to say even though you may be listening to me or whoever you listen to to inspire you and motivate you during your period of cultivation or your levels of cultivating I want to let you know that you can receive this thing for yourself you can go in and get inspired by the spirit of holy for yourself so be blessed and be encouraged in Jesus name today